Filters give image makers the ability to do some amazing things to their imagery, and they are probably one of the most versatile features in Photoshop. In the past videos, we talked about and used a few of the filters for retouching. This series of videos, we will be diving into filters and explore the creative possibilities that they hold. We hope by, by the end of these videos, you will be able to use filters to enhance photo design and composition, understand the subtlety of using filters in Photoshop, and demonstrate the ability to create and apply smart filters. Now the question, what exactly is a filter? A filter is basically an effect that you can apply to an image or part of an image. A filter can range from a very simple to highly, com to highly complex and can be used for a variety of things. They can be used to clean up or retouch your photos. They can add special art effects that make your image look like a sketch or watercolor painting. They can also create unique transformations. These effects can be as subtle or as extreme as you like. The possibilities with filters are endless. Before we dive in, there are a few important things that you need to know about filters. First, filters are applied to the active and visible layer or to a selection on the active layer. Filters cannot be applied to bitmap mode or index colored images. Some filters work only on RGB images. Most filters work on grayscale images. Fewer work on CMYK or lab images and 16-bit images. All filters can be applied to 8-bit RGB images. For 8-bit images, all filters can be applied individually and most filters can be applied cumulatively, added on to each other through the filter gallery. Some filters are processed entirely in RAM, so make sure you have enough RAM to process the filter effect. When you use a filter on a smart object layer, the filter becomes a smart filter, which is editable and removable at all times. 